Alright, I'm going to fill this up. Yes. Just under an ounce. And I say just under an ounce because when it hits an ounce, it overflows. So give me a second to wipe that up. Because that will do no good for our demonstration. Okay, I'm going to get this all out here. Stop shaking my hands. Okay, so it really is just under an ounce of liquid in there. And I have to make sure this one comes to a blossom before I can put anything on it. So we're sitting at 59 degrees here, and that's two cups of water. I don't like lighting these with a lighter. I tend to jump sometimes, so I'm going to... I went and just grabbed a back box of matches because you gotta stick your hand down there and jump back and I'm always afraid I'm gonna spill over the alcohol. I don't know why I jump back, I guess it's just the nature of fire. Bring that back a little bit. Let this come to a blossom. It doesn't take very long. It does tend to need a little help to get there once it starts. And a little more. But once it blossoms, it does pretty good by itself. So it does that. Okay, I still had too much peel in there. We had a little uh, craziness there. I obviously put too much fuel in this stove. This stove, because of the lowness of the jets, cannot handle very much fuel. And for all you out, people out there that do work on stoves, the key is don't panic. Um, if you panic and knock your stove over, you're going to have fire everywhere. And it is water soluble, so you could pour water on it very quickly to put it out because it is alcohol, or you could smother it, but the key is don't panic. Uh, if it gets on your skin, the best thing you can do is smother it as quick as possible. You don't want to be pouring boiling water on yourself, obviously. It's a good idea to have some kind of protection nearby just in case something should go wrong. Uh, I keep a fire extinguisher very close. That way, if something should get out of hand, I can work quickly to extinguish it. This did not do what I thought it was going to do. We'll try again.